Hi, this is Sir Steve here to show you guys how to set up Dark Souls 3 Randomizer for the Archipelago software. What you'll need is you'll need two things. First, you're going to need a legal copy of Dark Souls 3 through Steam, and you're going to need the Dark Souls 3 AP client. The AP client is just basically a fancy folder from GitHub that allow all the randomizer features to run and do all that fun stuff. You're going to want to click on this zip file down here. It will show up just like that after downloading. And once you get to it, it'll be a nice little file just like this. What you'll be able to do is you'll be able to you'll be able to just take that, drag or drop it to anywhere on your computer. No problem whatsoever. For simplicity's sake, I decided to drag and drop it where I keep my game file. So that way it's nice and easy to find. Once you have it dragged and dropped on in, you're going to open up the Dark Souls 3 Archipelago and version number, and you're going to go into the randomizer field. The randomizer field, and then select randomizer.exe. What this does is it sets up the entire Archipelago game for you. No issues, no problems, nothing you need to worry about. This is just a previous test run that I had, so I'm going to bring that down here. So for this one, we're going to need to change the lobby number from that 371 to 57236. And again, don't worry if you forget which is supposed to go where. It tells you exactly what to do. And there it tells you what the player name is. So that's also the name category. Password, if you have one, you then select the load option. What that'll do is it'll just take its time and load up the information needed to connect to the game. It'll give you an initial, hey, you're successfully connected to the game and give you a notice that the Archipelago configuration has been successfully loaded in. What you'll then need to do is you'll need to go back into that folder, go back to that randomizer folder, the Archipelago one, and select on the launch mod Dark Souls 3 bat. Launch that, you're gonna see this that little text file. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you keep an eye on where that is. You do not want it to disappear like I just did. <laughs> Sometimes it does automatically close, let it run, let the game get all comfy and start it up. There we go. And here on the little text file that came, came up, it's asking if you would like to reconnect. I'm going to type in Y for yes. And then it should run a nice little thing, trying to get it connected. It does not like to be connected outside the menu. That's right. So you hit new game. You will be able to know if it's randomized, if, hey, that's not what Night Clash should be. That's not a mercenary. That's definitely not a warrior. That's not a herald. That could be a thief. That's definitely not deprived. He has pants. And we shall name them pants. Start the game on up. Load on in. Show me that pretty cutscene that I'm going to promptly skip. And you'll get that notification of Archipelago is connected. It was try it was retrying to get connected in the background. Whoop. I'm all loading on in. So you're now all set to go. You can list out all the commands that you need from the Archipelago site through this, or you can go back to the Archipelago page to show that, hey, you're successfully connected and you're good to go. And just for further proof that everything is indeed randomizing the game, there should be one bad guy here. You shouldn't be here. And there you go. Some things are different, some things are the same. But overall, I remember you guys dropping those. But with that, you're all set to go. I do hope you guys have fun with setting up Dark Souls and playing Dark Souls Randomized.
on the Archipelago system. Hope you all have a good day, good night, good whatever time it is. Feel free to like and subscribe. And let me know what games you guys would like to try next. Or if you run into any problems, I'll be happy to try and answer any questions. Bye-bye.